Thank you very much for coming and joining us on the Equal Pay Day in Czech Republic. I know there were a lot of activities organized by the business and professional women across Europe, and there are activities also in Estonia. So tell us a little more about them. Uh, thank you for inviting me, and thank you, Lenka and uh, BPW Czech Republic. I'm really pleased to be here today and see so many inspiring women and inspiring speakers. And I see that everyone's eyes are shining because you are really getting what you came to look for, the inspiration. And the inspiration how to carry on and how uh, really to take the step and ask for the equal pay. And uh, I am the regional coordinator of BPW Europe. BPW, as you can see there, means business and professional women. Professional, it means that we are, uh, women are employed or working for someone. And uh, Business and Professional Women International was found in 1930, mm. when women, business women from the United States started to visit uh, business women in Europe. And at that time, France, UK, Finland, Germany. And that's how Business and Professional Women International was established. And BPW Europe. We have actually clubs on every of the five continents. And BPW Europe is the biggest one. We have 18,000 women in uh, Europe. Uh, in 30 different countries who are all members of BPW. And um, what are our most important activities? Of course, one is the Equal Pay Day. Every country, I mean our member country, and we have 30 member countries in BPW Europe, is celebrating Equal Pay Day. Uh, equal Pay Day, uh, every country celebrates it a bit differently. For example, Germany is organizing huge events. They have demonstrations. And the BPW Germany also is one of the biggest federations in BPW Europe. So every club in every city goes out on the day. They are wearing red clothes. They are having banners. They are having flags, equal pay day uh, bags. And they are announcing to their own government that you have to listen to us. And BP, uh, sorry, German uh, government is uh, giving uh, uh, almost uh, one, two million euros for the equal pay day to organize it. And uh, uh, to speak about... Um, other activities in BPW Europe. Uh, then one of uh, the newest is uh, green and sustainable future. So we women are worried about the planet Earth. And uh, the business, uh, we are helping women to establish green businesses. And uh, on 22nd of April, the Earth Day is celebrated. And BPW Europe is going to organize a uh, campaign on 22nd of April. So you are welcome to join uh, the Earth Day and give a pledge to Mother Earth to keep it. Also, one of the activities of BPW Europe is training women. Training women to stand for themselves. And one is that uh, we are teaching how to negotiate how to negotiate for better pay, uh, how uh, to introduce yourself, how to be a better leader, how uh, to have uh, better knowledge about uh, personal empowerment. So different trainings we are providing to our women. And uh, a very new activity is WEPS, or Women Empowerment Principles, where Every country in the world can join the Women Empowerment Principles where uh, the companies in your uh, country are going to give women the same rights as men. Actually, uh, to treat them equally. So these are the webs of Women Empowerment Principles. And PPW Europe does many more activities. And one of the most famous ones, one is the conference 
every three years. So members of BPW Europe are meeting in different European countries. And this year in May, at the end of May, we are all meeting in Iceland, Reykjavik, and we are having the BPW region, Europe Regional Conference. Three years ago, we met in Ireland, and in 2025, we are going to meet in Malta. So please join BPW. And uh, Lenka is sitting over there, the president of BPW Czech Republic. And as I promised uh, to tell also a bit about myself, I am from Estonia, so I'm an Estonian. And uh, I have three daughters. And there was a question about my personal experience with equal pay. When I started my career, I already had three children because it was uh, co very common. And that day, time that you married at 20, you had your children in the early 20s. And uh, really, with three small children, it was one working day. Then I went to my office. It was the second working day. I w came home at night. It was like a third working day for me. <laughs> and every Friday, my male colleagues say, oh, let's go to a restaurant. Let's have some beers. I think, oh, I would like to go also. But no, of course, I will choose my children because they are waiting for me uh, at home to make a pizza and watch a movie together. So I started to think, hmm, men should look after children more. It's not fair that only women are looking. Uh, I'm looking after children. I have a very good husband. He helped me a lot, but still I felt it was unfair. And then when I learned that my male colleagues are earning more because my boss had an understanding that the man is the one who provides for the family, then the red light started to shine in my eyes and I said, no, it's not right. <laughs> And then myself, I found BPW, and I found the like-minded people, like-minded women, and we started together uh, the Equal pay, uh, pay Day campaign in Estonia in 2010. At first we thought, how we are going to do it? How we are going to get the attention of media? And then we had the clever idea that let's use the word game. So the name of our equal pay day campaign was with dill or without dill. Mm -hmm. Dill is uh, the green uh, thing you put on uh, uh, your food that gives the better taste. But in Estonian language, dill also means the male gender organ. <laughs> and the campaign was that... Uh, very provocative. Uh, very provocative. <laughs> and that's what made media... Uh, took media's attention at once. And on that day, restaurants, pubs, cafes sold meals with dill. 35% <laughs> more expensive than meals without dill because Estonia <laughs> had the pay gap in 2010, 35%. Oh. We were the last in European Union. And only because of the uh, word game, we got so, many uh, so much attention that the equal pay, uh, next year it was even e easier to organize. And in three years already, even our government talked about equal pay. And now when you say equal pay or deal without deal, everyone knows about it. It's not a topic anymore, everyone knows about it. And then we took it our, to our heart that we have to train our own women to be brave, to be strong, to learn to negotiate, especially when you go uh, and uh, you want to find a job, that you go to your potential employer, how to ask for the bigger salary, yeah. how to negotiate. So step by step, step by step, uh, now uh, the pay gap in Estonia is 23%. So we are slowly, slowly moving up but still a long way to go. Still work to be done. So yeah, still do, work to be done. Thank you for introducing the Business and Professional Women. I think it is a great platform for women to connect and make a positive impact, to support each other, to challenge each other, to celebrate together. So it's an invitation for everybody. Big thanks for coming to join us today and good luck with all the activities you are doing across Europe. Thank, thank you, you very much. I'm really happy to be with here with you and meet so many lovely women. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. Thank you very much. Thank Andrew. you.